Thank you for calling Saharim and this is Saharim and how can I help you? <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a whole ass minute since I've been here. Um, I went and I got laser eye surgery. So now we're 2020 in this. Um, I, I apologize for the fact that it's been so long since I've been back here, but just had lots going on. Um, I'm gonna try to keep this consistent flow going. Um, I got a job, <laughs> what? So yeah, I've just been real busy, but, and I really, I stopped wearing that much makeup, which is crazy because why would I ever do that? I don't look, I look, you wouldn't even recognize me seeing me in the streets, but whatever. So today we went for a spring inspired makeup look because it's supposed to be spring break. Uh, my spring break was last week and uh, I didn't do anything, but if you're planning on doing some, or spring's coming around and you want to beat your face, you could do this look. Um, but yeah, if you want to see how I did this, then just keep on watching. So I'm going to start off by priming my face with this Dr. Brandt Luminizer Primer. I love this stuff. It like gives your skin a nice glow without looking like oily and stuff. Um, I have oily skin, it's like normal to oily, so this stuff gives me that glow from within without looking like the U.S. is fiending for my face because it has various oil deposits. Um, yeah, I just like to put that all over my face. It's nice and not tacky, but it's like sticky enough to where it helps your makeup stay. And then of course, as always, going in with my Milk Makeup Blur Stick and applying that to my T-zone where I am most porous, like so. And then I'm gonna be going with my favorite foundation. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I'm in the shade 4C3 Soft Tan. And I'm gonna be, take, I'm gonna be taking my Vanity Planet Concealer Brush, just dipping that in there and applying that all over my face. And then taking a damp beauty blender, I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that in. I just cleaned this beauty blender and it's gonna get so dirty with my foundation because it's like really light pink, but I just start from the outside of my face, go in because I want the least amount of product to be in the center of my face because that's where I tend to get oily and where it breaks up the most. Once that is done, I'm going to be taking my Tarte Shape Tape and my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealers, sorry, in the shade Medium and Light Ivory to conceal and highlight. This concealer is um, lighter than the Tarte Shape Tape that I'm using, so I kind of just use it just for highlighting purposes, where the other one's more for coverage. I'm gonna go ahead and let that sit for a little bit while I do my brows off camera and then I'll be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and blend this concealer out as well after I do my brows so it's gonna have, you know, been sitting for a while, which gives it better coverage, so I'll be right back. And we're back with my base fully blent. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eyes and the rest of my face with the Ben Nye Banana Powder. I keep it in my Laura Mercier little thing because um, the other bottle, like the Ben Nye bottle, isn't really convenient. But I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I'm not going to be setting my eyelids today because the color of your eyeshadow show up a lot better when the concealer is still like tacky. Um, but if you want to do that, you could do that. So even though it snowed out here in North Kakalaki this past week, we still have spring break. It's still technically spring. So we're gonna be doing a spring inspired look today. I'm gonna be doing a halo eye um, 
honestly i'm not even the biggest fan of halo eyes i just feel like i've done a cut crease i've done a half cut crease why not stick it out with the halo eye so that's what we're gonna do today i'm gonna be starting off with my super b huda beauty rose gold palette and i'm gonna be using the shade shy which is like this blush shade right here as my transition shade and i will show you guys where i apply it Okay, so I guess kind of my new way to do eyeshadow is obviously not setting the concealer. You want to make sure that there's no creases in there before you apply anything. And then I always take a flat brush and apply the shadow and then take a fluffy brush and blend it out or blend out the edges. So I'm going to take that shade Chai and apply that to my outer and inner corners. See, I'm just like patting it in there. That's what we're going to do from the outer corner of your eye all the way to the inner corner. Just like that. It might look a little crazy. And then to blend that out, instead of using the same shadow, we're going to go into this Huda Beauty Electric Obsessions palette. I'm going to be taking the center shade, that bright yellow. And on this Morphe blending brush, just take a little bit of that and blend out that transition shade. So I guess this would technically be our transition shade. Still blending. <laughs> okay. Next shade we're going to dip into is a scary one. Um, it's super bright pink. It's this Morphe single shadow in the shade Orchid. It's like literally just bright ass pink. And I'm going to do the same thing. Apply that on my outer and inner corner with a flat brush and then blend out. We are not playing any games with this pink. Nicki Minaj who? I'm kidding. We're really packing that shadow on there. We're not scared of anything. Clearly, we are invincible. We don't play by the rules. Again, taking that same fluffy brush in that same yellow shade, I'm just going to blend out those edges. I'm going to dip a little bit into that Orchid shade. Just so we can get a nice even gradient and blend. So obviously we're going for a very natural look today. Um, you can wear this look to the grocery store or you know just dropping your kids off at soccer practice. Anything you feel. The next shade we're going to be going into is also a single shadow. This is, oh, short, oh, short. Another Morphe single. This is in the shade Rosewood. It's like a purpley fuchsia, magenta, whatever you want to call it. And it's kind of just like a deeper version of the shade Orchid. And we're going to place that a little tighter along the outer and inner corner. We're not going to take it so much in the center like we did the last two shades. But really focus it on the outer and inner corner. And then taking nothing on this fluffy brush, just blending that out. Like so. And then in the center, I'm going to be taking this Morphe M432, which is a flat little square brush and some tart shape tape and I'm just gonna carve out the halo I used to not do this this used to not be a thing for like cut creases and stuff but it's a thing now so we have to do it okay and our look is complete just kidding I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna blend out the edges because I don't want like obviously harsh lines but that's really all that I do when I'm doing a halo eye I just do one line down the middle and then blend out the edges and this is a Morphe E24 by the way it's a bullet crease brush 
Um, but I never really use brushes for what they're meant for anyways. Alrighty, and then for the center of our lid, I still don't know what shade I'm going to be using, so give me a second. Okay, so I'm going to be taking this Makeup Geek eyeshadow single. This is in the shade In the Spotlight. It's one of their foil shadows, and I'm just going to literally stick my pinky in it, like so, and apply that to the center of my lid. Right on top of that concealer, I'm just patting it on. I'm going to go back into my Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette and take the shade Angelic also on my pinky and put that on the edges of where we put that shimmer shade. And then taking that same blending brush from before, blend out those edges. For the lower lash line, we're going to start by smudging this yellow from the Huda Electric Palette all over that lash line like so and then going back into orchid sorry not orchid rosewood the darker purple smudging that along the lower lash line as well like that I'm gonna go ahead and do my other eye off camera and then we'll do liner and lashes and finish the whole face. Okay, so now I'm going to be taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills in... Why are you Am screaming? Okay, so now I'm going to be taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills in Amrezy Collab Highlighter. It's a universal shade. They don't have more than one. And I'm going to be using that to highlight my inner corners. Like so. Okay, so I'm gonna take that highlighter as well and apply that on my brow bone. It glistens almost as much as my gray hair does. And then I'm gonna blend out those edges with a blending brush. So I lied when I said I was gonna do liner on camera because that's really hard. So I'm gonna do my liner, apply some lashes, and then I will be right back. So I went ahead and applied liner and lashes. I used the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper and the Butter London Double Decker Lashes Mascara. But yeah, the lashes I'm wearing today are the Velour Lashes and Trust Me Try It. Um, I really like the style of these lashes. I just need to clean them because there's so much glue on them that they're barely sticking on. For contour today, I'm going to be using my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I'm going to be using the three dark shades and a giant fan brush to contour. I learned this from Nikki Tutorials and I love the way that it turns out, so I'm going to stick to it. As you can see, the right side of my face wants to um, impersonate a crunch bar um, today. I've been breaking out like crazy. Not sure why, but ignore it. Okay, so my camera died while I was contouring, and I went ahead and added blush. I used all three shades from the Anastasia Blush Trio and Pool Party, and I'm going to go real quick because I don't know when this is going to cut off again, um, but I'm taking that same highlighter, the Anastasia Omrizi one, and I'm taking this tapered brush and applying that to my face after I set it with some spray because, you know, it'll be popping after that. I'm going to be using the... Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Setting Spray, whatever this is. Anyways, going to go ahead and apply some of this. I hope you all see this magic on camera. Ma's fiending for attention. She wants these views. I'm going to be applying the Kylie Jenner Brown Kylie Jenner, Kylie Cosmetics Brown Sugar Lip Liner. Mm. That scared me. 
And then I'm going to be applying this MAC Matte Lipstick in the shade Whirl. And then one last time just setting my face so that all this stays on for the next like 30 minutes because I'm going to take it off and go to sleep. And voila! That is the finished look. Um, so this was supposed to be a really springy look. You could do a brighter look if you wanted to but I'm not all about that color life. Um, the eyes were a lot for me as is. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, which is all down there. Leave a comment if you loved it the way I love it. Because I love it. How do you even outro?